Hi, I hope you are doing well. You have not seen much videos from me these days because I'm traveling for work and fun. Uh, but I was playing this non-con CTF with my team and which I'm part of. It's not my team. I'm part of the team and it's very cool. Thanks for them for having me in the team. But I haven't recorded many CTF games recently, but this one was fun and had things to learn from. Uh, I tried it first, uh, went forward to somewhere, didn't finish it, but our teammate Kolia helped us and uh, now it's solved. It's a privilege escalation challenge. Uh, combination of everything is in MISC because it's a combination of many different things. It says that tech influencers were right. SSH for everything really is the future. With Secure Surfer, you can surf the World Wide Web all through your terminal. Okay. Escalate your privileges and run the program in the root user's home directory. It directly says where the answer is. We have to run a program in root user's home directory. In these examples, the source code is available. You will read the source code, you will find the flaw, you will try it in your computer, and then you start a server to check it on their computers. Now, this server is running. If you want, we can extend it a bit. Okay. So this is the source code. I have the source code here. Uh, the reason I decided to talk about this and record a video about it after a long time was the privilege escalation part and also reading a fun C source code. What it does? First thing always for me is checking the whole length of the program. It's only eight, 80 lines of code, including this fancy header, then showing this menu. It says, okay, blah, blah. Print one for self SSH, two for self RSA. 3 for surf DSA, different uh, cryptographic algorithms, and 6 for surf the web, 7 for exit. Nothing fancy up to here. Then it says, uh, ask for the choice, read the choice, and now we have one number. If the case is 1, surf this address. Okay, on the Wikipedia, the secure shell, SSH. If two, surf this. If three, surf this. So let's see what this surf is. Uh, this is the surf function, what it does. It gets a URL, okay, creates a command, 512 bytes. Then a sprintf co copies into the command this. User local bin links. Lynx is a text-based browser. It's very cool. You can always browse in your text mode. I can say, uh, this is my computer, where I am. Ah, I'm in a VI, I'm not in a terminal. Here, I'm in a terminal. I can say, links.yahoo.com. Why not? forwards many times and everything and look up HTTPS forwards somewhere else it says should I allow these cookies always allow cookies always allow cookies not the best thing for the text text browser and this is yahoo.com in text so Most of the time I use links too. This links is another program. And many cases you will need it. You are on a server, you have to download something from the internet, from your company's wiki. You just go text based, download it. So it says, read the URL, create a command, which is links, some options, and then in single quote, whatever URL is provided, google.com, okay. And then runs it on the system. This is not good at all. You are creating a string and directly running it on the system. And then check for STTY sane. So 
you are getting a URL, creating a links command with accept all cookies, cache is off, restrictions are all, and do that. So what happens here? In these cases, the URL is well known for sure. It's safe. Links will open these. Not very useful for you. But in case of six, which was browsing www, the program reads a URL. This is one kilobyte. Remember, our URL was 512. This could make a problem, but not in this case. Printf online URL read a string from the user url uh, remove backslash n from the end because when you are entering and pressing enter there is an backslash n at the end remove that one then check if str str url which https was null so if there was no https in this one return back an error if there was no uh HTTPS give an error. If there was an HTTPS colon slash slash surf the URL and then do the loop continue this. So you can open different pages in the links. Hmm. Interesting. Where is the flow? Always when you have something read from the user and directly use it in this case, running it on the system, this is a possibility for injections. Same thing happens in SQL injection. When you are reading an input from the user, adding it to a string and run it on an SQL, it's a recipe for disaster. In this case, where the disaster is. Let me make it a little bit larger. See? You read something from the user, send it here, put it here. So the general command is links, some switches, your URL. Okay, nothing bad up to now. But what happens if you do it like this? Links, some switches, here it's waiting for your input. You can input it like this. Go to HTTPS, Google, dot com okay if this was the case it would work then you say single quote bash okay now your command will be links google.com single quote next command semicolon bash the script will add this and this is an error so you can say bash comment single code so this will be bash comment single code another single code this is valid system command links will run the on google when it's finished the bash will start then comment then code code no problem here you can get a shell i've already tried it So here I can do this. Now I'm connected to the server. When I wanted to test this, I compiled this in my computer, tried those injections. When it worked, it was fine. Now I will go with six. Uh, URL as we talked, HTTPS, Google.com. Then go to the next command with a semicolon, run bash, then command one. Ah, we needed a... Ah, I broke it. No problem. Syntax error. Okay, six. This says undetermined coded string because we started the code and didn't finish it. Here, we wanted to do google.com quote so it will be closed here then this one so here i will have in my injection try i will have https google.com single code now that is closed next command bash 
now I have this a comment so whatever goes after is fine I will add just one to make sure that if it's adding one it will work problem with the Google because we restricted everything so no forwarding now I'm in the shell very cool you saw how it works google.com went to the links so I'm running links switches google.com bash hash this this so now I'm in this one here I was stuck because I didn't know how I can get get, uh, get inside the root user I have everything I can do here go into the directories do whatever I want but I was not able to reach the root directory because permission denied so our teammate Kolya or Kolja told me that there is a cool command which is sudo l which shows you what can be run as a sudo with this specific user so without password I can run links this was also kind of mentioned in the question itself somewhere in the program maybe maybe it's removed from the because I think there was a mention that you can compile this as root and use it anyway but he told me that you can easily do sudo l and you will know what this user have access to so I can do sudo huh? come on sudo this and I will have a links with the root users access what I was trying was links can't browse their local directories too so I try it like this here you will have a directory of the root with a file but when opening it this is not very useful it says sorry you need to be running in interactive flag this program can only be run in an interactive terminal you have to run it you don't need to just see it I first try to download this but again found out that there is an editor switch to the links this is my own computer I can go with links you can select which editor to be used on links instead of the default one so I can say my editor should be vi so practically when it opens the data it opens it in vi now I have a vi running with the root access so we had that C program from the C program I got the shell with the injection here I got a links with root access and now I am in VI with root access next step is easy from root from sh uh, VI I can run a shell and I will be running a shell here I can run bash sorry and I will be in bash so I have a root shell you saw the flow vi with root in vi I could do a shell and I was in the default shell which has ash I could run bash or whatever so here it is done I can go cd root and run whatever command it was get flag it says you have to run enter quickly to get the shell and this is the flag I think this was a nice uh, escalation of the uh, your privilege and it was fun to show hope you liked it my travel will be finished in one week we'll be back have fun